Hey everybody, it's Dr. Will Cole. We're live here in our Functional Medicine Health Center in Pittsburgh, where we see patients around the world via webcam and phone consultations via Skype or FaceTime or Google Hangout, all that good stuff. We um, get people direct functional medicine care in their homes, wherever they're at. Um, and I love what, what I am blessed to get to do every day. And I have been doing these awesome Facebook Lives every Tuesday. Um, with my friends in the wellness world. And today I have one of my most favorite people in the world. And I do not say that lightly or casually. <laughs> Catherine Budig, thank you so much for taking the time and talking with me today. Oh my goodness, thank you. And the feelings are mutual. <laughs> we just saw each other in Arizona like two days ago. We right? did. And now we're both back on the East Coast. Yeah, it's exactly. just a blur. <laughs> I know it is a quick week. I mean, both we're in Arizona for Mind Body Greens Revitalize event. Super awesome. But we're both saying we're we are. Uh, you know, it's it can be draining the long flight home. So we're actually talking about travel today, which is a great segue. But first, can you tell everybody about yourself, the people that don't know, and just fill them in? Sure. Um, I'm a yoga teacher, and I've been teaching for. Gosh, I think it's been about 14 years now. Started out in Los Angeles at Yoga Works in Santa Monica. Um, currently splitting my time between Brooklyn and Charleston, South Carolina. And I'm also a writer. I've authored two books, The, the Women's Health Big Book of Yoga and Aim True. And most currently, I have a podcast on ESPNW with my girlfriend, Kate Fagan, and it's called Free Cookies. And it's about sports, <laughs> wellness, and pop culture. So it's Wellness for the sportsy people, sports for the wellness people, and a lot of making fun of each other <laughs> and at the time. So, um, yeah, and then beyond that, I, I like to have my hands in all the different cookie jars, lots of entrepreneurial projects and designing and, you know, whatever comes my way. That's awesome. And I just, I, I am not a podcast listener. I'm a co-host of a podcast, too. I don't only really listen to them, but I make one exception, and it's you and Kate's podcast. <laughs> Go on the iTunes uh, podcast and, and definitely check it out. Um, so tell everybody about your health journey, your wellness journey. What brought you to today? Yeah, um, I grew up in Lawrence, Kansas, and, uh, you know, definitely grew up uh, where normal health choices were really the option. A lot of hamburger helper growing up. By the time I got to college, I thought the vegetable variety of cream cheese was healthy because it had vegetables in it, which I'm pretty sure has nothing to do with vegetables. Um, but by the time I moved to Los Angeles after college, that's when I started my yoga teacher training. And that was that whole world of um, extreme health and I had been a vegetarian when I was a little girl and I tried it again once I started my teacher training and and the journey of cleanses and all these different ways of eating and organic foods and so as I went down that path of being a teacher you know opened the doors to completely transforming the way that I look at food and and have a relationship with uh, the nutrients and supplements and everything that I put into my body so that was kind of the, the origin story, and it's been ever-changing even since. Yeah, absolutely. And for all of us, it's this evolving thing. And I've written about in the past, I was a vegan for 10 years, and it's all, we're always evolving, and we're trying to do the best we can with the knowledge that we have and how to feel our best. And we're all, we're all different, for sure. Um, so what works for one person isn't always great for the, for the next person. Um, so tell everybody, you're a super busy schedule. Like, I don't know anybody that flies more than you. So tell everybody how to, how you stay healthy while you're flying or for driver, you know, if you're driving to any trips, how do you stay healthy? Yeah, I actually, I have models here waiting for me. Um, you have been very helpful because we originally met at the Mind Body Green Summit two years ago or three years, something like that. And you helped me out when I wasn't doing so well. So, I mean, I guess the number one thing for travel, and this may seem obvious, is just tons and tons of water. So I always travel with a canteen, or this is my little um, to-go latte cup. This is also my eco-friendly choice, so I'm not tossing away a lot of paper cups while I'm on the road. Um, and then you turned me onto this. Can you see that? There we go. The prescriptive list. Yeah. This amazing this is something at first i was just taking it when i was on the road and then i started taking it basically every day and they're awesome like how can this not be good for you look how dark and dingy and full of stuff this is um i get it all over me but that's a daily dose for me that's been really amazing um there's also you know the brand standard process 
Yeah. Um, this is my jam too. They're adrenal tonic. That's sweet. This is just amazing. And it's got ashwagandha in it, echinacea, licorice extract. Um, it tastes like it's good for you. <laughs> um, it's potent, but I, I do a couple teaspoons of that every day. And then um, they were just talking about it at the conference is how so many women are magnesium deficient. So I also make a concerted effort to get regular dosage of magnesium in me. And so I really, this is my jam. I love the natural calm. It's just a really tasty powder. I take a lot of powders and a lot of potions um, and then essential oils. Like I don't know how I could possibly live with essential oils and I have to choose just one. It would be peppermint. I just recently turned my girlfriend onto it and I think she needs to actually tone it down a little bit because she is now dowsing herself in peppermint maybe every eight minutes and asking me if you can OD on peppermint oil. <laughs> but, but I like to ingest it, um, put it on my belly when my tummy hurts. I put it on sore muscles. I smell it when I'm tired. I put it in my ears if I'm feeling congested. It's kind of that, that cure all oil for me. Um, and then I also have a, a digest blend and it has good stuff like it's peppermint, ginger, uh, anise, all that good, amazing stuff. So it's kind of my my little arsenal apocalypse of goodness that keeps me healthy on the road. Great. Actually, the, one of the first memories I have of knowing you was you on the shuttle bus from the resort to the airport and you with essential oils on the bus. I was like... I get out to the bus and this poof, this waft of oil. <laughs> hey, oh, so good. Yeah. So, talking about digestion specifically, if you had to pick your top food and your top supplement for your digestive health, like what would it be? Yeah, I, I mean, pro and prebiotics as far as supplements go. That that's just to me the holy grail of digestion. Um, I you also turned me on to collagen. So uh, it's the, what is it? The, the Vital Proteins, the, this company is awesome. This is their Beauty Water, which is a new product that I'm trying out. But you turned me on to the marine yeah. version of the powder collagen. And were you the one who told me the analogy of a, um, a screen door of how it works? Oh, with, I don't know if I did, I may have. Oh, you mean with the gut lining? Ability? Yes, how it, the gut lining is like if you imagine a screen on a door that's been all beat up and the collagen goes in and patches up all the little broken spe uh, pieces of the screen, which I just, I love that analogy and it's very clear for me. So I feel like whenever my digestion is being disruptive in a kind phrasing, um, I really try to just get a, a regular dosage of the collagen on top of my pre and probiotics. And that is just, I do not leave home without it. That is an absolute must. Very cool. How about a food? If you had to pick a food, what would it be? I have a very simple rule of eat something green every day. Um, you know, it's whether I get my hands on a green juice or some kind of salad. Obviously, the, the darker, leafier greens are going to be good for me because I'm not, I don't ingest much animal protein these days. So I'm looking for other options to get the protein into me. So, um, is does dark leafy greens is that too broad? No, <laughs> I that. It. It's a great food group. So spinach and kale and kohlrabi, Swiss chard, all that good stuff. That's yeah. And just a word on the marine collagen for those of you who do not who want to avoid um, animals but still eat fish, like pescatarians. The marine collagen can be a good alternative for for those of you who. Want to do that? Are they making a vegetable collagen now too? Is that a thing? I do. The, I know of one vegetable that wouldn't be collagen. It, I have. I know of Vital Proteins makes a veggie collagen where they put veggie powder and collagen powder together. Yeah. Um, but so there's always some cool. kind of animal component if it's going to be collagen. Got it. Yeah. But yes, they have uh, Vital Proteins does have a veggie collagen with vegetables and collagen kind of together. Yeah. And you also turned me on to, to bone broth. I found when I, I need to rejuvenate myself, if I've been really sick and I just am afraid to put anything in my body, that's, um, I, I, it's good for a hangover too. <laughs> <laughs> um, that that's helped to restore me, but yeah, the, the collagen and the preprobiotics and leaky greens, that's kind of my go-to. 
Awesome. What do you think about, this is something that I wanted to get to you, support systems and being healthy. Because when I was in New York a couple months ago, Kate, you, Kate was doing what you were doing as far as avoiding the grains, and she let me know the fact that I was making her life change. So kind of fill me in on having the people that you do life with on board, or do you do your own thing and you don't care what they do? What would your thoughts be on a support system? I'm huge, honestly. If you can get family members, loved ones, whoever is under your household or you spend the majority of your time with to jump on board if you're trying a new way of eating, if you're doing the whole 30 or grain free or paleo or vegetarian, vegan, whatever it is that you want to experiment with, um, they keep you honest. And, and it's also nice if for everyone who's listening who happens to be a cook. To me, that's one of the most important things that you can do to improve your way of eating is learn how to cook your food because then you can see exactly what is going into your meal. You don't need to worry about weird additives or what might be hurting you. You can learn what kind of oils and fats are good for your system that you react well to is the base of your cooking. Um, and, you know, assuming you are cooking for other people, it's nice to not have to make two versions of a meal. Um, it's absolutely possible to, but the discipline level is going to be astronomically higher if you don't have that kind of support system. Yeah, that's so true. And I mean, it's just education a lot of times because I mean, the people that you do love with, I, we're supposing the fact that they love you and they want to be supportive. So nine times out of 10, it's just when you explain to them what you're going through and what your goals are, they're going to fall in line. They may not do exactly what you do. They may modify it a bit, but they're not going to be completely the antithesis and like, eating junk food right in front of you or, you know, cookies or something like that. Right, and not rubbing it in your face. I, it's my, my father just was told he has a liver disease and he's been told to go onto the Mediterranean diet. And so mm -hmm. my, bless my mother's heart, who pours a mean bowl of cereal, um, <laughs> has all these new cookbooks yeah. and is trying very hard to adapt and cook these meals for him. But it's been a great journey for her ultimately because she's changing the way she's eating. This is something they're doing together. I'm trying to write recipes for them. And you know, it's a, it's a family affair now. That's very cool. I heard it said, and this is kind of the way that I eat is a vegetarian, where it's like a lot of plant foods and good fish. It's kind of a Mediterranean diet too. Yeah. No, that's the way I prefer to eat as well. Vegetarian, I like that. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> I don't think that I made that up. I, I don't think I have the right to that, but probably the first thing. Hear it. Yeah. <laughs> so what's new with you, and how can people get a hold of you? Yeah, um, my name is the best way to find me, <laughs> uh, KatherineBudig.com. At KatherineBudig is all my social handles and my name. I know, how do you spell Catherine? There's a lot of ways. It's K-A-T-H-R-Y-N, and my last name is B-U-D-I-G. And um, I've got some retreats brewing right now. I haven't done a retreat in about two years. Uh, so, and it's not going to be your average retreat. So oh, there's the website. So that's going to be happening a, a handful of those next year. I am working on designing with a company that I will reveal soon. That's going to be a little special line that's coming out next year. And season two of free cookies starts in November. So for anyone who has guest suggestions, you can hit me up privately on any of my pages. And, um, we are working on book number three. We're working on the proposal right now and probably start writing that in the new year. So that'll probably come out early 2019. That is a lot of stuff. You are busy. Yeah, busy and trying and trying to not be busy at the same time. Trying to strike that beautiful balance of uh, doing what excites us, but also what truly feels good versus what we tell ourselves we should be doing. That's a, that's a, I mean, healthy balance. That's a whole, we have to have you back again to talk about healthy balance in your life. Cause that's another big part of wellness. The same. So what did you say? Yeah, it's just absolutely huge. And I'll, I'll come back and we'll talk balance next. <laughs> All right, my friend, you are certainly loved. Thank you so much for being, talking with me and being my friend and, and we'll talk soon. And thank you for everything you do. And anyone listening who hasn't worked with Dr. Cole, you're missing out. This man has seriously changed my life. So just throw that out there. Thank you so much. All right. Well, tell Kate and the puppies I said hi. Give them a kiss yeah. for me. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bye. Bye.